The world has experienced a substantial technological revolution over the past decades. Some of these technologies that might come to mind include artificial intelligence, virtual reality, internet of things, and an emerging technology referred to as blockchain. In the simplest terms, blockchain can be described as a data structure that holds transactional records while also ensuring security, transparency, and decentralization. A blockchain is a distributed ledger that is completely open to any and everyone on the network. You can also think of it as a chain of records stored in a sequential order which are controlled by no single authority. Blockchain can be directly applied in today's global supply chains. Comprised of a complex web of trading partners and trusted third parties, each party within the supply chain maintains their own centralized systems and subsequently partners face significant challenges trying to synchronize the data representing the flow of goods and services with the actual flow of goods and services. In the book, Blockchains for Business, Dr. Lassity states that while manufacturers, exporters, couriers, freight forwarders, customers, inspectors, exporters, shippers, and importers are moving physical goods, they are also creating data around the movements with the bill of lading, certifications, and consignments. With so many moving parts, there are bound to be issues that arise. The product supply chain is facing several key problems related to trust reliance on numerous third parties and a lack of visibility into the supply chain that can have a deep effect on the customer's perception of the products that they purchased. Let's take a closer look at how blockchain provides efficiency, transparency, decentralization, and security to the entire supply chain system to resolve these issues. Fraud is a huge issue within the global supply chain specifically related to organized retail crime, return fraud, and false declines of payment. Currently, the global value of counterfeit goods is estimated at $1.2 trillion and could reach as high as $2.3 trillion in the year 2022, according to the global brand Counterfeiting Group. Blockchain solutions can solve the fraud problem by tracing the proof of origin which proves the documentation of the originating manufacturer of the product. By tracking the parts throughout the assembly process for more visibility into the individual product components, Blockchain provides a picture of the product's life cycle from the origin all the way to the customer. A second major issue within the global supply chain centers around food safety. 1 in 10 people fall ill every year from eating contaminated food, and 420,000 people die each year as a result, according to the World Health Organization. Food safety is actually taken very seriously, so whenever there is an outbreak, retailers like Walmart opt to remove the contaminated food off of the shelves to avoid public consumption. After all, when it comes to food safety, everyone is guilty until proven innocent. This type of response comes with a financial cost of a lack of sales and a waste of food that is not even contaminated. In 2018, during the E. coli breakout of romaine lettuce, 210 people were affected across 36 states along with five additional salmonella outbreaks across multiple retailers. Typically, it would take retailers seven days to trace the exact source of the contaminated food, but with blockchain technology, Walmart can trace food as far back as the grower in a mere 2.2 seconds. This drastic improvement puts safety first, saves companies money, and prevents food waste all thanks to the blockchain. So we have already established that there are multiple siloed third parties trying to work together all throughout the supply chain. Now imagine the exponential amount of paperwork that is created and transferred between each member performing a distinct role. Some 200 documents are exchanged in each shipment, along with 300 people on average being involved in each shipment for the world's trading ecosystem, according to the Bangkok Post. There is also a lack of trust when it comes to communication and documentation between multiple players using multiple sources of information. The supply chain is very complicated and with many moving parts there are bound to be errors that can cost companies money, a lack of efficiency, and loss of time due to reconciling records between entities. These issues are solved with the use of blockchain due to its creation of a single source of truth. This single source of information can be utilized by manufacturers, carriers, merchants, and many more participants to provide a comprehensive view of each participant's actions that is captured by the blockchain. Beyond the benefits of information, there is also the benefit of decreasing costs by using digital ownership certificates and integrated financial transactions that is possible due to blockchain technology. The World Trade Organization stated that the global GDP would increase as much as 5% or more, and trade volume would increase as much as 15% if logistical barriers were removed from the international supply chain. If I were a student today, 
in the Walton College. I would make sure that I understood what blockchain was. You don't have to, if you're a business person, you don't have to be a programmer. Some of you might want to program, but you really don't need to do that. Most of the breakthroughs that are going to come from blockchain are going to be a result of new processes that are possible. As a student, there are multiple ways that you can get plugged into the Blockchain Center of Excellence. Go to the blockchain.uark.edu for ways to get involved like signing up for the hackathon or conference. And check out the blockchain classes offered right here at the U of A. You can follow the Blockchain Center of Excellence on social media to engage with their growing community.